What is going on guys? Joe here back again and today we have the Kdel Evans Great Ocean Road Race on PCM. It's the final of the opening Aussie races that start the World Tour season. Um, it's basically the same start list that entered the Tour Down Under the week before. Um, so yeah, it's a fairly flat race. Uh, quite a few small hills in the second half which could uh, provide a good chance for the punchers and barradors and prevent the sprinters from being in with a chance at the end. Uh, Jay McCarthy will defend his victory from last year for Bora. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it and see which team we're going to run through this with. So here it is, guys. We're going with UAE Team Emirates. Diego Ulissi uh, is the highest rated rider. He's definitely more of a puncher. Jan Palanca, decent climber. Jasper Philipson, the young sprinter who had such a good tour down under, only 20 years old. Uh, we'll really do our best to get him in with a chance at the end of this race. Uh, Rory Sutherland will be more of a domestique today. Same with Bystrom, who might have a chance if he goes in the breakaway. And then we have today Pogachar, who is such a talented young rider, along with Philipson. Two fantastic signings for UAE this off-season. The parkours don't suit him too well today, but we'll see if we can get him in with a chance at the end. And then we have Ivo Oliveira, another young rider, who was a new signing this off-season. He'll be more of a domestique today. So, who are the favourites for today's race? Elia Viviani leads the way for Quick Step. He had a good tour down under. He'll be looking for the win today. And obviously, Caleb Ewan as well, who hasn't had the best start to his time with Lotto Sudal. The Aussie will want a win in his home country. Obviously, he was stripped of that win in the tour down under. He'll be looking to get his new season underway properly today. And then we have, have a few other guys. Michel Valgren will have a chance. Patrick Bevin, who had a good tour down under as well. Um, so yeah, we have two elite sprinters today and then a bunch of other guys with an outside chance. None of our guys are on the favourites list today, so hopefully we can catch a few guys out. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the race. So guys, here we are on the start line in, in Geelong. Uh, let's get our guys to the front of the peloton. Uh, looks like we've got some decent form today. Philipson plus one, Oliveira plus one and Paul Ank as well. Pogacar not having his best day, um, but yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, I don't think we're going to go in the breakaway today. Um, I think we're going to concentrate on getting our leader, whether it's um, Philipson or Ulysses or anyone else. We're going to concentrate on getting them to the finish line in the first group. Uh, so let's keep all our guys in the peloton, um, maximize our strength there. Uh, so yeah, we'll let these guys go in the breakaway. Um, and yeah, let's cut forward into the race and see if a breakaway can form. So guys, we're still uh, at the beginning of the stage, just over 10 kilometers into the stage actually. Um, and it looks like the breakaway has formed. They now have three minutes over the peloton. We have Dupont, Lachlan Morton, Hinley, Hofstead, Stettiner and Lawrence de Vrese in the breakaway today. Uh, group of six, um, the group is currently three and a half minutes. I don't think uh, they have a real chance today. Uh, so yeah, we'll let the peloton kind of control the tempo. We're not going to put anyone relaying at the front. So yeah, let's cut further on into the stage and see how this goes. So guys, still over 90 kilometers to go in the race and very little to mention so far. Uh, no events, no falls or anything like that. The breakaway has just over two minutes at the moment. Um, it looks like they have no chance for today at all. Uh, we're not far away from coming back into Geelong uh, for a few circuits around Geelong. I think it looks like three or four circuits there. Um, so yeah, it looks like the breakaway may be caught pretty soon. So here we are guys, race update, just over 70 kilometers to go. We're just coming back into Geelong and we're about to hit the first uh, major incline of today's stage. So let's make sure all our guys are towards the front. Looking okay at the moment, Pogacar furthest down. Um, I expect the tempo to really pick up here to try and drop some of the lesser riders. Palank seems to be dropping behind slightly. Uh, so let's make sure he can stay towards the front. Uh, he seems to be getting blocked slightly as well. Same with Sutherland. Let's make sure these guys keep up, or at least try to anyway. Uh, the pace really uh, upping now as we go over the hills, uh, as some of the sprinters will try and be dropped, I guess. Um, it seems like all our guys have kept up. Palank has been dropped slightly. Uh, so let's try and bridge that gap back. Um, it would be helpful to have Palank, especially for the end of the stage. It looks like some gaps are forming already, so as I expected, pretty hectic over these hills. 
<laughs> so guys, we have a split here. All our guys are in the front group of 57. And if you come back to the second group here, uh, let's just put those guys on maintain position now. We have Richie Port leading the the chase for Trek. Uh, any favourites here? It doesn't look like it at the moment. Bevin's back here. Lisa, Daniel Oss. So yeah, some favourites already dropping behind uh, due to that uh, increase in pace over that hill. So we really need to make sure we stay to the front. So let's collect some water with Palank while we're at the back of the peloton. And there's a sizable gap, 1 minute 16 to back to these guys. Um, so yeah, it looks like they're really struggling actually. Os, Bevin, Debuchere, Haas. So some real uh, some real guys who were on the favourite list at the beginning of the race uh, back in the second group. So you can expect the pace in the peloton to really pick up here. So over the crest of that hill yet again, and the pace is really high. There's group, there's splits all over the pace. Pogchar has dropped back slightly. Group of 25 with the rest of our team is still here. Um, but yeah, let's see how this unfolds. It's pretty hectic so far. So we seem to be doing a reasonable job of keeping our guys near the front. Uh, Palank needs to settle down. He's low on energy. Same with Oliveira, who's protecting uh, Philipson at the moment. Um, yeah, let's keep Pogchar towards the front now. All our guys towards the front of this front group. 44 riders here. Then a group back here. 13. Back to these nine. Back to these. So the splits all over the race at the moment. We've done a good job keeping our guys near the front as Oliveira is done for the day. So yeah, let's keep going and try to keep our guys towards the front. Worth noting that Philipson doesn't look in the best way at the moment. Um, he's keeping with the front group for now, but energy-wise, he's looking pretty low. Ulysses looking really good though, so perhaps he's going to be our leader for today. Uh, he looks like he's going to have the best chance at the end of the race. So here we go, approaching that hill yet again. And Van Baal attacks for Sky. Cavagna has gone with him for quick step. These few guys are getting away. Uh, so let's ride with Palanx here. We need to... And, and Van Baal's gone. Palanx off the front as well for now. Uh, I don't think we're going to keep that though. Let's keep him here. And Van Baal has attacked for Sky with 30 kilometers to go. Uh, so yeah, this is really going to up the tempo now. Uh, Pogacar looks done. Oliveira looks done. Cam Phillips and stay towards the front here. It's going to be tough for him to be honest. Pogacar looks done for the day as well. Same with Palanx. Um, Van Baal is caught so that attack is over breakaway still clear though about a minute clear DuPont has attacked the breakaway he's 20 seconds off the front with 27 kilometers to go uh, don't think the breakaway have a chance today um, and Philipson has dropped just off that front group really need to try and stick with them here it's going to be tough Pogchar looks completely done now uh, let's just maintain position with him he's done for the day same with Oliveira and it looks like Philipson could be as well let's use his energy gel we've just about attached to that front group again let's go to maintain position we are approaching another small hill though so Philipson looks like he's struggling to be honest uh, Palanx is done as well let's use some f more energy gels uh, Ulysses looks in by, by far the best position for us today uh, Sutherland needs to try and stay with him. Let's put him on Ulysses' wheel. But Palank is now done. Philipson's now done. Looks like we have three guys who are going to be contending this race now. So we're on the flat section, Dupont crosses the finishing line, I think for the last time before uh, it is the finish of the race. Uh, let's maintain position. We don't need to chase down. 21 guys in the front group. Uh, Ulysses here. Viviani still here. Caleb Ewan still here. So the sprinters have not been lost just yet. Daryl Impey is here. Um, 21 other guys. So let's just pause it quickly and have a look at who's here. Uh, Viviani, Ewan, Valgren still here. Uh, which favourites have been dropped? Sanchez has been dropped. Os, Volscheid. Uh, he hasn't been able to keep pace over the hills. So yeah, it looks like one of these 21 will be the winner of the Caleb Ewan Great Road Race. Pools is still here. Ballerini looking pretty good. Uh, Stetson is here. Michel Valgren. Thomas de Gent still here. Uh, Ulysses looks in fantastic shape though. So perhaps um, we can protect with Beastrom because he's looking better than Sutherland. Sutherland can just uh, hold position now. He's, he's done for the race really. Uh, let's get towards the front of the peloton. Up the tempo now over this small hill. Uh, Bystrom is going to lead us over there and we're approaching this hill. Let's put in an attack with Diego Ulissi and we're actually moving off the front of the peloton. They're just about sticking with us up the pace slowly as we approach uh, this hill with Diego Ulissi. Uh, we're going to put an attack here. Here we go. This could be a deciding point in the race. 
Bystrom, he's done. Sutherland, he's done. It's Ulysses going. Postelberger attacks. Let's follow with the Ulysses. Valgren joins and it's a group of three at the front of the race. We're clear. Viviani tries to follow. Doesn't look like he's able to though. Let's follow Valgren. He looks in good condition and it's three guys at the front of the race. We need to try and keep up with Diego Ulysses and we've done that. It's a group of three who are clear of the rest. Wow, this is big here. So we swing under the 10 kilometers to go banger, Postelberger for Bora, Valgren for Dimension Data and Diego Ulissi for UAE Team Emirates are at the front of the race. Let's try and work with these guys. We may as well here. We're clear of the rest of the pack. Who's chasing? Thomas Degen, Impey, Van Poppel. Uh, the sprinters are in this group. Ewan and Viviani here. Slagter looks done. Uh, we're looking good there with Diego Ulissi. Maybe we can put in another attack um, as we approach the second mini hill before the finish. Let's see, here we go, downhill, and then we'll swing up into the uphill section. Uh, here we go, let's go. Diego Ulissi on the attack. Can these guys stick with him? Postelberger follows. Valgren tries to follow. Boy, oh boy, this is it. Five kilometers to go, and we haven't been able to shake them. Oh boy, and we're, right, we're a minute clear. The, the winner will come from this group now. It's between Postelberger, Ulissi, and Valgren who will win the Great Ocean Road Race. Postelberger 63 spent, Valgren 68, Diego Ulissi 70. Perhaps we're the favourite. Oh boy, this is going to be tense. One minute 16 clear now. Two kilometres to go. Right, we've got back our sprint. Let's slowly up the pace. One and a half kilometres to go. Let's try and lead these out. Valgren attacks. Postelberger sprints now. Ulissi as well. It's Michel Valgren at the front. Is he going to take it? He takes it ahead of Diego Ulissi, who comes in second for Team Emirates. Postelberger comes in third. Oh, we probably sprinted too late. Viviani comes in fourth. Oh, <laughs> that was tense, guys. Uh, we finished with some sprint bar just left. We left it too late. That's a shame. I thought we were going to take that with Ulissi. Good race, though. We did well. We are in a great position, uh, but not to be for us today, which is a real shame. Michel Valgren takes the Cadill Evans Great Ocean Road Race. Diego Ulissi in a painful second. Postelberger third for Bora. Viviani won the sprint, so it's a shame Quickstep couldn't keep him in the front group. So there is Michel Valgren on top of the podium in Geelong. He takes the final race in Australia before the proper season really starts in the World Tour. Let's have a good look at some of these leaves as well. 45 seconds clear we were in the end uh, of the chasing pack. Viviani took that as I mentioned. Um, so yeah guys, I really enjoyed this race actually. Usually I prefer the mountainous and punchy stages more than the flatter ones. Um, I guess we kind of turned it into a punchy stage with that attack Ulysses did. He, I think we followed Postelberger actually, who orig originally attacked and the three man group went clear. Um, but yeah, real shame we couldn't finish it off in the sprint. Ulysses, as I mentioned, is the strongest sprinter ahead of Valgren and Postelberger. So it's a real shame that that's how we lost it. I thought I thought we were going to bring it home, to be honest, as we entered that sprint. Uh, Valgren with a great sprint, though, in the end. Originally, I was planning to go for Philipson in the sprint. However, the pace was too high over the hills for Philipson. He couldn't keep up. 66 hills, not good resistance or any other stats, really. Really a pure sprinter at 20 years old. I think his stats might improve as the year goes on, really touting this guy for a good year ahead. Same with Pogacar, really. I think he'll make some waves in the World Tour this year. So guys, I really enjoyed this one. Leave a like and a comment if you did too. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.